four Browns who will face make or break seasons in 2022. This is according to Dog Pound Daily, and uh, it's an interesting list. So number one, uh, unnamed rookie wide receiver. Um, so it'll it'll be 13 or the second round. Uh, you know, the, clearly they're going to bring in a wide receiver, and, and that will definitely be a, a guy that they need to. Um, to play well, but I don't know that it'll be make or break. Then you have Denzel Ward. He's facing an extension. 2021, I thought he was really good. I'm not going to lie. Um, he was a lockdown corner. Uh, look at the game, the first game against the Bengals, the way he defended Jamar Chase. I don't know that anybody defended Jamar Chase as well as he did. Um, then they say Miles Garrett. I, again, I'm not sure what's make or break about it. And, and this one I definitely agree with. It. You know, if Baker Mayfield's under center, it's make or break season for him without question. It's fifth year. He's going into a big option. Um, just what are your thoughts about who is facing a make or break season for the Browns coming up in 2022? I mean, ob obviously it's Baker Mayfield. I mean, if he's under center, it's Baker Mayfield, no doubt. Um, you know, it's it's quite lit. If he's if he's taking the snap under center for the Cleveland Browns in Week One of of 2022, he's playing for his future in Cleveland. He's playing for his contract. That's what it is, right? So he's either going to do it or he's not. And I think, you know, I think in very Cleveland esque fashion, he'll probably thread that needle so very lightly right up the middle to where you're still like, uh, I don't know, maybe. Um, but in all honesty, I think that you know that's the case. Yeah, it's a bigger break, but. Denzel Ward, I don't agree with. I think he's going to get an extension and and he'll be locked up for the next five years. Miles Garrett is already, you know, uh, signed for the next, I think, four or five years. So, yeah, I, the, the article did address Miles kind of falling off. And, you know, I think I think a little bit of it, you know, he was a little banged up. Yes, he had the injuries. And obviously the season is long. Um but he did so much for other players too. Again, that's that's part of his job. You know, yes, we talked to when Odell was in Cleveland, we talked about him being a decoy. Well, it's not so much about being a decoy, it's about le drawing legitimate attention away from other players and giving them opportunities. You saw, you know, guess guess who was really damn good when Odell Beckham was with the Rams? Cooper Cup. Yep. Because guess what? That gave him more opportunities. It gave him they they took they had another eye to be on. So you know, Miles Miles is going to be a great player. There's no doubt. I'm not worried about him being make or break. And then the receiver, I definitely, yeah. I mean, they, they need another receiver, whether it's a rookie, whether it's a free agent, whatever. It's definitely going to be make or break to help whatever they do in the passing game, no doubt. The other thing I would say is um, year three for Kevin Stefanski is probably pretty important. You know, year one was, was really good. Year two, a little bit of a regression. I, you know, there's reasons for it. Um, Let's see. He he's got to have a pretty decent year. I, honestly, I think Kevin Spansky's. It's a pretty important I year think, for him. I, I, Baker Mayfield and Kevin Spansky are one A and one B. I think this is absolutely a make or break year for Kevin Spansky because in the NFL, not for long. You know, you see coaches getting fired after one two years. Uh, Matt Nagy got fired. He was coach of the year. We saw how bad he became. Um, same thing could very well be with Kevin Stefanski if Baker Mayfield continues to struggle and, you know, the offense continues to not be able to throw the football down the field. So um, I think it's very make or break for both. Um, I think Andrew Barry's done a good job with this roster. Um, and I know that Andrew Barry's kind of working with Kevin Stefanski on that. But if Kevin Stefanski has a, real, a bad year again and they go under under 500 and, um, and you be it with whatever quarterback you bring in um, or whether it's Baker Mayfield, I mean, I think they could both be on their way out. I really do. If Baker Mayfield and Kevin Spansky can't go exist next season, next season, I could very well, I could very well see both of them not being back. So yeah. yes, one A and one B, Baker break for Kevin Spansky and Baker Mayfield.